This tutorial is on HLS and a vertical or horizontal matrix. How you can automatically associate specific pixels with their location in the XY plane of the matrix. This is just a, a test sequence that I've got up. Uh, I'm assuming that you've already defined your pixel plane. In this example, I've created and assigned channels to a 15 by 15 pixel plane. So it's 15 going across and 15 going down. And you may ask yourself now, well, where are the pixels fed from? You know, do they start in the lower left corner? Do they start in the upper left, lower right? How do they do it? Well, you're going to assign them just depending on how you uh, position them within the array, which I'm going to show you. So you're going to go up to pixel plane and you're going to assign and that is a 15 by 15 pixel. So if you think about it, this grid represents your matrix. So this number one, one one is in the upper left corner of your matrix physically and 115 is down in the lower left. Your job is to tell HLS exactly what pixel goes in each particular cell. Okay, now I'll show you the easy way. The easy way is to come down here and say, well, first of all, you have to tell HLS. See, if you pick, click on this, it's going to say, hey, dummy, I don't know where you want me to start. The, what you have to do is tell me what cell is your active cell. You do that by either you have to activate a column or you have to activate a row. You do it by green. When you do that, then you tell me what cell is active. So I just clicked here on this number one cell, which is the upper left corner. Now I can come down and say, hey, HLS, do everything for me. I'm going to do the complete matrix. So now, now we get down to physically how are you going to create and drive your, your pixel matrix. Um, in this particular example, we'll assume that we're in the upper left corner and our strings are running horizontally. There are 15 strings going across. When it gets to the end, it wraps back. So we actually have seven strings of 30 pixels per string, just for this illustration. So we want to do the complete matrix and we want to start at the left, go to the right and then come back. And you hit OK. And you tell me what pixel is the starting pixel. So we're going to do one. And bang, it's all set up. So here is string one, pixel one, string two, pixel two, string three. You come all the way to the end. You're at string one, pixel 15. That drops down. Then it goes to string, pick, string two, pixel one, and comes all the way back. So it just snakes back left and back and forth. So if you have your strings and the number of pixels per string is exactly equal to this, then this works out very nicely. Um, if not, let's clear all these out. Then you can kind of do it somewhat manually. So if we turn around and say, OK, I'm doing a horizontal matrix now. Um, if I was doing a vertical matrix, which means my physical pixels per string are running up and down, then I would click on the top because you're selecting what string going up and down. This example is going to be on a horizontal matrix. So my strings physically are going across. So I'm going to click on row one. So I'm talking about my very first string at the top and my very first pixel. So I can uh, left, excuse me. If I just leave it there and I do left to right, then that will assign all 15. So I can come down here, click 1, and it will automatically assign all 15. Then I could come down here, sign left, and I could come down here and pick up string 2. And I can assign it that way. Okay, let's clear that out. Let's come back up here to 1. Let's say, for instance, I'm actually driving from the other side. Now, let's do this one. Let's do an S-shape manually. So this one would be left to right, string one. That one, then, would be right to left. 
and there's string two, and bang, and it automatically comes that way. So using these buttons, you'll do a complete row or a complete column, okay? Let's clear the string. Let me show you how to do a partial. Let's say for, just for the whims, let's say here, and let's come down here, seven. And I, for some reason, want to drive from this cell number three. So I can right click on cell number three, just to show you the whatever, 15 minus three is 12. So that's going to be 12 pixels. If I click on the first, I hold the shift key down and I click on the second, it's a simple window selection. I can select those 12. Or you can hold the control key down and click them individually. Now, I want to go left to right. So if I click that, boom. Now, I've, I've assigned from a particular cell in a particular direction, ba uh, setting out sequentially, starting from a specific pixel, physical. Okay, so you've got the complete versatility now. Uh, so I've showed you a horizontal string, just to make sure. If you want to do a vertical string, you just go up here. So there's one. If I right click, I do one, and I say top to bottom. Yeah, see, didn't do that right. I do right click. I did one. See, I only picked one. So I'm going to come down here, shift, select all 15, then it'll put all 15. So you now have the capability of whether you're dealing with a horizontal matrix or a vertical matrix to easily go in and assign every pixel to every cell position in your XY matrix. I hope this makes your life a lot easier. Enjoy. Bye.